Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of All About Jamie. Today's episode is going to be slightly different. So my team has been suggesting that I watch this guy called Uncle Rogers and I was like, who is Uncle Rogers? So today I am going to watch Uncle Rogers as I react to his video. I will react to a video sent to me by a fan. It's the BBC Good Food How to Make Egg Fried Rice video. What is BBC? Let me see. Is it like something dirty, like big black? He doesn't look like an uncle. Thin corporation. Let's play the video. Okay. Egg fried rice. Don't be afraid. This is really simple. It's cheap. It's delicious, really satisfying. Ice. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Who afraid of egg fried rice? <laughs> egg fried rice. Who afraid? Why are you afraid of egg fried rice? When it's like a takeaway, but you haven't paid eight quid for it. Who paid eight pound for takeaway egg fried rice? My that is pretty expensive. Eight pound for egg fried rice. Well, but it's England or more like London. Everything is expensive. So now at least I know that egg fried rice is eight pounds, which is equivalent to maybe about $12 Singapore. But hey, that's not too bad, right? I think in the Chinese restaurants in Singapore, we have to pay much more for fried rice. And yeah, the living standard in Singapore is really high. But if Uncle Rogers from Hong Kong, he should be used to like eight pounds rice as well. So a lot of people get afraid of cooking with rice, but you can follow a really simple rule, which is for every one part rice you have, you need two parts water. It's as simple as that. Who? Cool. Why you measure water with cup? Just use finger, finger. You put rice, put water, until finger. First joint, first joint the finger. That's how you measure the- Oh really? I don't know that rule, the finger rule. Well, like Uncle Roger don't like induction stove, you know, those stove with no fire. Uncle Roger need the fire. Who use induction stove? It's so lame, so not satisfied. Thank God I have both. <laughs> what she what say? say? Wang your eggs in. Wang your eggs in. Don't put wang, wang. anywhere near your egg. Fire rice. Don't wang anything in kitchen, okay? That's how I got fired from Chinese restaurant. On to play, leave it to <laughs> Her, her eggs don't look very good. Drain it. Drain. What's she doing? Drain. What's she doing? Drain the. Oh my God! You killing me, woman! Hiya! Drain the. She. The rice. She draining rice with colander. Hi. What's a colander? This is not pasta. I see. Never seen anyone drain rice. If your rice too wet, you fucked up. Don't bring colander into your rice cooking. Hiya. Well, one thing I know about making fried rice, although I am not an expert in it, is that it is best to use rice that has been cooked overnight. And every rice has to be on its own. It should never be sticky, wet, or like gluey, kind of like watery. So very, very dry overnight rice. What the hell? Uncle Roger so upset, I put my leg down from chair. Why are you running water through <laughs> Oh, so she washed the rice after it's Uncle cooked. Uncle Roger said no. Okay, that's a bit strange. <laughs> and then you want to put all the other ingredients yeah. in. Rice. Oh, the sad gloopy rice that ran through <laughs> colander. This look okay. But look too healthy. Where your MSG? You don't use MSG. How to make good egg fried rice? This is just I don't use MSG. Rice. MSG is the the king of flavor. If you sad in life, use MSG. If you I'm surprised he life, still has hair. MSG. Put MSG in everything. <laughs> It'll turn it better. 
to using metal to scrape your saucepan. Hiya, this is non-stick saucepan, cannot use metal. Hiya, your, your parents That's never teach you. If I use metal on saucepan at home growing up, I will be this old. No more parents. Why are you often? I use metal on saucepan. Mom don't want me anymore. Why is this woman proud of herself? Egg fried rice, Uncle Roger know how to make egg fried rice and Uncle Roger three year old. And this lady, I don't know, 34. Making egg fried rice on induction hob. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> okay. So, guys, uh, I have a few thoughts about this video. Firstly, yes, he is really funny because he has this uh, Hong Kong accented English, which makes it even funnier. But I think that uh, dish. It, Cooked by different cultures would be kind of different and uh, we shouldn't be so judgmental and guys seriously do not use MSG. I have never used MSG in my home and I would freak out if anybody in this home is using MSG because it's really like the worst thing you can ever do to yourself seriously I mean except uh, being judged by Uncle Rogers, I guess. We need to see how he makes his fried rice. We saw his reaction to the British lady's version of fried rice. But then, I think Uncle Rogers need to do a fried rice dish for us to show us how competent he actually is. But today, I'm going to show you my fried rice first. Okay, guys. This is my maiden try at making fried rice. I. I uh, don't know if you guys know that I'm not much of a kitchen person, not much of a cook, but, but, but I pick things up really quickly and I figured that from all my years of eating really good fried rice everywhere around the world, I would know how a good fried rice tastes like. And when I taste it, so I will just naturally, it will come to me like I'm kind of like talented, you know? <laughs> well, we'll see how talented I am. So last night, I had some Shanghai hairy crabs and one of my favorite foods in the world is actually Shanghai hairy crab fried rice. So I saved the legs, which were quite a chore to actually peel each and every single leg and uh, we have de them and this is what we got so fried rice with Shanghainese hairy crabs I have prepared some rice before filming this and the key to making a good fried rice is to make sure that your rice is very very dry just want to show you guys that it should be very dry and um, I'm going to touch it. Oops, it may not be as dry as I hope that it is. Maybe I should drain it through the colander, but then Uncle Rogers might go nuts. Oh my god! So, I have an egg right here because it's egg fried rice. We can't really do without an egg. I've got butter because I think that butter makes the fried rice really fragrant. No MSG of course, MSG is a no-no right here. I've got chopped garlic, some coriander, and of course, chili putty because we like it hot and spicy at home. So let's see if I know how to turn on the stove. Oh, I actually don't have to press it for so long. Hooray! I learned something today. Now, I'm going to put it on high heat, okay? Because, you know, usually when I watch the Chinese chef do the fried rice, it's usually like in this huge wall and then there's this fire and they go down like this. Woo, 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 woo. Let me see how I can toss it, okay? Alright, it's hot enough. Now I'm going to put some butter into the pan. I don't know who used this wok, probably with a metal spoon. That's why there's like all these marks. 
definitely not me because I don't even cook. I like lots of garlic, so let's go for it. Ooh, smells good. Okay, just put everything up. Everything. Lower the fire a little bit. Oh my god, it's turning brown, it's turning brown. What am I gonna do? Oh, it's a little bit brown, but I have lowered the fire. I think I add more butter. Add a little bit more butter. Okay, don't laugh, I never make fried rice. So now I'm gonna crack an egg. Oops. Uh, oh no, my my garlic is burning. I'm being very ambitious. I don't think my egg is going to look too nice. Let's garlic eggs. And now I am going to... Yes, my egg is not sticking to the pan. I'm quite happy. Now I'm going to put the rice in. I'm just going to make fried rice like for one person, okay? And I'm going to try to wrap. Oh no, there's too much rice for like to wrap the egg. I can wrap this egg. Yeah, I got it wrapped. Although it's not the nicest looking wrap. Okay. There. Oh man. Very stressed. I tell you, if I were in some master chef competition, right, they would ask me to get out of the studio. Get out! Get out! Am I supposed to do this? I can't. It's super heavy. And now I am going to put in my. Shanghainese curry crab meat. Hopefully, this dish would be saved by my favorite crab. Okay, please save this dish. It's not looking very good already. Told you guys, I cannot cook. I just cannot cook. But I sure know how to eat. What am I missing? Some salt, okay? Some pink Himalayan salt. The kind that I actually take a bath with. The fried rice is lacking in colour. Everything looks very yellow and brown. Now I need some soya sauce because you know we Chinese cannot live without soya sauce. Where is my soya sauce? Okay, but anyway, next I am going to put like chili padi. We like it hot. Huh? Chili padi. You know in this house, we never eat anything without chili buddy. So we are very very hot family. Alright, now just a bit of soya sauce. A bit but I don't know how much. Let me just put like a tiny... Uh-huh, okay. You know what? Actually my rice look very separated already. It might be not too bad, not too bad. Now let me try. A little bit burnt but I think it's okay. This is like a quick and easy fried rice. It is a little bit salty. A few moments later. The fried rice is ready. I'm just going to garnish it with the coriander on top. I'm very clumsy around the kitchen. Okay? Yeah. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. I'm not only clumsy, I'm messy too. Okay. Now. Just garnish it with lots of coriander for that Chinesey flavor. I'm going to do a little bit of decoration on it so that may it look better than it tastes. So I have uh, plucked some Thai basil from my garden. 
to add some flavor to the fried rice even though I think it's pretty flavorful already like full of salt but when your food looks nice it just tastes better so here is my Jay-Z version of an egg fried rice I hope you guys can try out my recipe <laughs> oh my god I feel so weird even saying that because I don't think it's like the best fried rice in the world but okay if you guys want to try out this recipe uh, it is really simple to make as you can see I did it in less than maybe five minutes so yes it's a quick and easy way to make fried rice if you are back home from a long day at work and you just want to do something like really quick in the kitchen for dinner try JC egg fried rice see you guys next week no eating my own fried rice you know when I cook I don't like to eat my food a bit but I don't know how much it is a little bit salty okay.